I guess we'll start off with a recap of, you know, did I complete my goals and everything? Well, I don't know why it's only showing the true achievement score. Aha! There we go. I eliminated 11 games from the backlog, and my goal was to eliminate 10 of them, so another mission accomplished. Because 55 games started, 66 completed, that means I completed 11 more than I started. I played a few others because, you know, needing to do contests and all that fun stuff. <laughs> kind of started off strong. Then I lost a little bit of steam. Then I lost a lot of steam. Started to slowly pick it back up. And then I started streaming. <laughs> and, you know, getting myself back up. So this was a game. 8 to 10 hours. But... It's one of those weird games where they maxed out the gamer score. That's right. I got 5,000 gamer score in about, I think it was 8 to 10 hours for this. <laughs> uh, Minecraft Xbox 360. I still have three achievements left in this. I did not manage to finish that this year. I felt like I wanted to do that just to, you know, get the monkey off the back. But hopefully, you know, by 2023, I'm pointing to this and being like, I finally did it in before uh we're on new year's uh new year's day 2023 and it's like oh yeah i forgot to do minecraft again this was the uh catastrophe <laughs> that uh really really screwed up my 334,000 gamer score run because this was supposed to be just a one or two hour completion the glitch was gone on it and since i'd already started it I was close enough to the end where I'm like, I have to finish this. So I ended up gobbling a couple hours of that stream and then needing to split the 334,000 gamer score stream into two nights. Oh, hi, Banjo. Hi, everyone. Yay. People are starting to come in and hear me ramble about gamer score. Yay. Thank you for showing up. Hi, Char. <laughs> but yes, uh, Earthlock. So yeah, the first achievement was uh, of letter Z, and I needed it for the alphabet challenge. I think it was two, three years ago now on True Achievements. So yes, I basically went back and I just, I played the whole game, and I actually, I really liked it. The mechanics were a little simplistic, but you know what? It was still fun. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun once they finish it. Ah, uh, that just fell the hell over. My apologies. I'm picking you up now, chat. I'm so sorry I dropped you. <laughs> All right, there we go. It. Stay. Stay, chat. <laughs> Little bug snacks. Oh my god, yes! I completed bug snacks this year as soon as it came out. Month it came out on Xbox because, you know, it was a PlayStation exclusive for a long time. My god, I had so much fun in that game. And now Banjo is playing it on his channel. Uh, shout out to Banjo the Roddy. We all know Racing with Ryan was the top 2022 game. Oh, sure. Why, <laughs> Why do you jest like that? <laughs> but yes, then there was uh, Rocket League. Yes, good game for about five hours. Then after that, it's like, oh, I'm happy to do all these grinds. Then there was this uh, interesting little gem called uh, Shotgun Farmers actually uh it's actually like yeah if you're just playing for memes and lols it's funny it's it's a really great concept of a game and i just wish it was made by a bigger studio if that makes sense i know a lot of people don't like to hear that because i know if a bigger studio got a hold of it it would have been you know microtransaction to hell and stuff like that but at the same time, I feel like that's a game that could have done with a slightly bigger team. I see the paparazzi poking up from below. Yes! Right after a Crossfire X, which... Ugh. <laughs> the reason I started that game and I did it is the completion time's kind of long on it, but I needed a ratio booster. And you can't get kicked from lobby, so I feel terrible for it. You know, free game as well. So you can just idle and get XP. So that's what I did. Basically, I would just let the console run overnight. I would keep getting into games. Big Crown, it looks like you didn't play much. Actually, that was me uh, finishing up the game. So I did uh, I did get the full thousand, but I started that game 
a lot of those achievements that I got like this year were online achievements. So it required other people. So yeah, big crown. That's why it didn't look like I played it a lot. But yes, paparazzi was adorable. I played baseball because I'm secretly a jock. <laughs> I got a little slack in uh, like May, June, July. <laughs> but, you know, then I started streaming and, you know, picked up the pace. I was kind of suffering a little bit of burnout in this uh, this quadrant of months. Because <laughs> uh, this was me going back to work. <laughs> this was like, not at work, not at work, go back to work, boo. <laughs> need to do something hey why don't i try streaming again and then loving my life again because i started streaming and sharing my time with all of you <laughs> this one uh was not as fun it was basically paparazzi but for like emo teens emo teens not teens it's like oh yeah cyberpunk paparazzi <laughs> we'll just take the same game and we'll we'll throw emo teens in there and dystopian how many games have you started but not got all the achievements? So there are 91 games where technically I have started but not gotten all the achievements in. So there is like 91 of what I like to call my two finish pile. The Dead Space, it was a lot of fun, but trying to cram it into one month kind of soured me on it a little. But now that I've kind of got some distance from it, I'm just like, you know what? I did have a lot of fun with that game. Now, I think we all know my opinions on this game. <laughs> I think almost all of you have seen me stream, and this was probably... I think, I'm pretty sure this is the reason that Bird High stopped editing for me, was when she had to edit through this. <laughs> she, she was not happy. It's your favorite game of all time, yes. Race with Ryan. I loved it so much. <laughs> My god, I was so full of venom by the end of that. I just, I kept playing it out of spite. That <laughs> was like, I, I'm pretty sure I was like up until like 12, 1230. The, these same developers made a version of this for Paw Patrol. And I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared because I've just put this out into the internet. But yes, Xbox Live Arcade. So we got Banjo-Tooie. Oh god, yes, I remember that. <laughs> I love Banjo-Kazooie and Tooie. I think I had to have my wife help me out for uh, some of these Banjo-Tooie achievements, so... <laughs> She's good at the old school platformers. <laughs> Thanks, Banjo. Oh, Quantum Conundrum. That was Portal Ripoff. <laughs> you think I'm joking, but it's like, oh, who's that guy? I think it's like Bob Newhart, that guy with the kind of like nasally voice. I think so. Like the very like snide, nasally voice. It's like, yeah, it's like you feel that he's just better than you whenever he speaks. I did play that a decent amount. I almost got it done. The issue is everything left in it is like, uh, that's what I'm looking for. It's basically like time trials and stuff like that. So it's one of those ones where it's like, I got to be in the right mood to put it in. I played Happy Wars a little when it was new. Yeah, that that's kind of what it was like with me. It's like, oh, this game looks fun. I played it. Got a moderate amount of achievements in it. I remember this game because this was one of the times I actually stopped. Because I got with a very toxic group while I was trying to do some boosting with this. And this put me off boosting sessions for a while, this game. Because the group was uh, quite toxic. Well, Dear Simulator, this was... I felt like I had stuffed my face in a pile of cocaine before I played this game. This game was a trip. <laughs> I'm still chuckling thinking about some of the stupid things in this game. <laughs> like you got all messed up. You were like trying to overthrow like weird governments. There was like a koala king if I remember correctly. 
It was, it was a time. This was the, which, yeah, this one was the 300,000 gamer scores. No eight. Frog Detect. Oh, this was a 334,000 gamer score stream. Yes, that's which one that was. I was going crazy because I'm like, I know it was a 300,000, but I know, you know, the, uh, oh, what's, what's that game? The Gunstar Heroes. I remember that one was 300,000. I'm like, no, they can't both be 300,000. Thank, thank you, Sharp, for reminding me. I was, I was having a brain aneurysm there. I'm like, I'm like, I know I did a special stream for that. I know it was a special stream. It was literally just a couple months ago. But yes, Frog Detective, all three of those cases, they were a barrel of laughs. What can Townscaper even have for achievements? Well, I can tell you exactly what it is, because even I don't remember. Floating town, uh, decorated a garden. I did this one on stream, actually. Yes, that's right. This was before I took a several month break. Uh, Airy Dreamscape. I mean, I during that stream, I made my opinions very well known. I don't know if everyone knows this, but obviously I have a YouTube channel. So normally it is where all of my, you know, VODs and highlight reels and everything, you know, that Sharv does goes. But I have started myself doing a Stellaris Empire roleplay of the United Stokashian Commonwealth. I am very excited for these and I'm very happy and I'm loving playing through Stellaris. Actually, should I just end the stream here? I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> I talked for way longer than I thought. I thought I didn't have enough to fill it, but people were actually interested and engaged, and that, that was nice for me. Oh, uh, default. There we go. And mute that. And Just Cause 3. Well, I'm going to chill around and Just Cause 3 for a little bit anyway.